Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Merlin engine for the Avril Lancaster was built at the factory where I did my apprenticeship, after a year of broad based engineering training and to my surprise receiving above average marks for hand skills I was given my first trade choice as an apprentice sheet metal fitter for jet aero engines. The Avril Lancaster is a British Second World War heavy bomber. It was designed and manufactured by Avro as a contemporary of the Handley Page Halifax, both bombers having been developed to the same specification, as well as the short Sterling all three aircraft being four-engined heavy bombers adopted by the Royal Air Force during the same wartime era. The Lancaster has its origins in the twin-engine Avro Manchester which had been developed during the late 1930s in response to the Air Ministry specification P1336 for a medium bomber for worldwide use which could carry a torpedo internally and make shallow dive bombing attacks, originally developed as an evolution of the Manchester which had proved troublesome in service and was retired in 1942 the Lancaster was designed by Roy Chadwick and powered by four Rolls Royce Merlins and in one of the versions Bristol Hercules engines, it first saw service with RAF Bomber Command in 1942 and as the strategic bombing offensive over Europe gathered momentum. It was the main aircraft for the nighttime bombing campaigns that followed. As increasing numbers of the type were produced, it became the principal heavy bomber used by the RAF, the Royal Canadian Air Force, and squadrons from other Commonwealth and European countries serving within the RAF, overshadowing the Halifax and Sterling, two other commonly used bombers, along. Unobstructed bombay meant that the Lancaster could take the largest bombs used by the RAF including the 4,000 pound 1,800 a kilogram, 8,000 pound 3,600 a kilogram and 12,000 pound 5,400 a kilogram blockbusters, loads often supplemented with smaller bombs or incendiaries. The Lanc, as it was known colloquially became one of the most heavily used of the Second World War night bombers, delivering bombs in 156,000 sorties. The versatility of the Lancaster was such that it was chosen to equip 617 Squadron and was modified to carry the upkeep bouncing bomb designed by Barnes Wallace for Operation Chastise the attack on German Ruhr Valley dams. Although the Lancaster was primarily a night bomber it excelled in many other roles including daylight precision bombing for which some Lancasters were adapted to carry the 12,000 pound 5,400 a kilogram tall boy and then the 22,000 pound 10,000 a kilogram Grand Slam earthquake bombs also designed by Wallace, this was the largest payload of any bomber in the war. In 1943 a Lancaster was converted to become an engine test bed for the Metropolitan Vickers F2 turbojet. Lancasters were later used to test other engines, including the Armstrong Sidley Mumba and Rolls Roy Star turboprops and the Avro Canada Render and STAL Dover turbojets. Post war, the Lancaster was supplanted as the main strategic bomber of the RAF by the Avro Lincoln, a larger version of the Lancaster. The Lancaster took on the role of long-range anti-submarine patrol aircraft later supplanted by the Avro Shackleton and Air Sea Rescue. It was also used for photo reconnaissance and aerial mapping as a flying tanker for aerial refueling and as the Avro Lancastrian a long-range high-speed transatlantic passenger and postal delivery airliner. In March 1946 a Lancastrian of BSAA flew the first scheduled flight from the new London Heathrow Airport. In the 1930s the Royal Air Force was primarily interested in twin-engine bombers. These designs put limited demands on engine production and maintenance both of which were already stretched with the introduction of so many new types into service. Power limitations were so serious that the British invested heavily in the development of huge engines in the 2000 A horsepower 1500 A kilowatt class in order to improve performance. During the late 1930s, none of these were ready for production. Both the United States and the Soviet Union were pursuing the development of bombers powered by arrangements of four small R engines, 
The results of these projects proved to possess favorable characteristics such as excellent range and fair lifting capacity. Accordingly in 1936 the RAF also decided to investigate the feasibility of the four-engined bomber. Avro received an initial contract for 1,070 Lancasters. The majority of Lancasters manufactured during the war years were constructed by Avro at its factory at Chadderton near Oldham, Lancashire and were test flown from Woodford Aerodrome in Cheshire, as it was quickly recognized that Avro's capacity was exceeded by the wartime demand for the type, it was decided to form the Lancaster Aircraft Group, which comprised a number of companies that undertook the type's manufacture either performing primary assembly themselves or producing various subsections and components for the other participating manufacturers. The Avril Lancaster was initially equipped with four Nash Thompson Fraser Nash hydraulically operated turrets mounted in the nose, tail, mid-upper and underside. The original tail turret was equipped with four Browning 303 Mark II machine guns and all other turrets with two such machine guns. During early 1942 No. 44 Squadron based at RAF Waddington Lincolnshire became the first squadron to convert to the Lancaster, it was quickly followed by No. 97 Squadron, which was also based at Waddington. On 2 March 1942, the first operational mission of the Lancaster deploying naval mines in the vicinity of Heligoland Bight was performed by aircraft of No. 44 Squadron. A planned mission against the German battleship Aterpitz had been rescheduled due to poor weather conditions. On 10 March 1942 the type's first bombing mission was conducted over the German city of Essen North Rhine-Westphalia. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.